Welcome back to another video. Can you believe the wild ride we had this week? We started with a full week of consolidation only to cap it off with a massive Friday rally that had everyone talking. Now, if you've been keeping an eye on those charts, you might be thinking, whoa, things are looking a little bit overbought. And you're not wrong. We've been on this incredible rally for two straight weeks. And the question on everyone's mind is, can lightning strike thrice? Are we in a jaw-dropping third week of gains? Or is the market about to tap the brakes? Now buckle up because OPEX is just around the corner and it's like the plot twist in a blockbuster movie. You never quite know what's coming. So let's hop right into today's video. This week we're leaning bearish but we were looking for spots to take profits off our long positions and buy the dip when it comes. Now we were taking profits early on the week and held the last batch of long positions which we will take off soon when we hit the key resistance of the entire leg up that we were initially aiming for which is 380 on the triple Q. Now Monday we were near core resistance hence we took some profit off our T triple Q. On high side it didn't seem like a good spot to take profits as we headed higher again on Tuesday. But Profits are profits and you do not ever feel bad about taking profits because we have taken the run up from 340s up to the 370s in just two weeks. Now Tuesday we took our final batch of T triple Q profits and left our SOXX and S triple Q puts open, which is still deep in profits for now. It whipsawed around the 373 level until Thursday when we had a drop going into close as we saw that the zero DT charm was bearish for that day. And coincidentally, daily chart was already overbought as mentioned to the guys after Wednesday's session close. Now Friday we were expecting a follow through but it did not and it stayed went higher hence we did not add any positions nor took any off. But once it touches 380, we will be releasing our S triple Q and SOXX puts as that will be the OPEX core resistance. These two weeks have been very profitable for our guys as we were all very well prepared for this aggressive move up. Are you ready to excel in this dynamic market? Join us now on Discord through the Patreon link below to elevate your trading skills with us. Trading success isn't a matter of luck. It's all about having the right tools, expertise and a profound understanding of the ever-changing market dynamics. When you join us, you'll gain access to expert trade ideas, technical analysis, valuable market insights and expert trading strategies ensuring that winning becomes a consistent habit don't miss out on potential profits any longer now join us today and transform your trading challenges into remarkable achievements hey everyone just wanted to give you a heads up about an exciting development within our community some of our awesome discord members have been using an algorithm for automated trading and guess what it's been delivering some impressive results. For those of you who haven't joined our Discord yet, we'll be sharing our weekly gains and losses from the board. It's a transparent way for you to see the progress we are making. And here's something cool. Our returns is so far better than the S&P 500 annualized returns and your traditional bank interest. If you're curious and want to learn more, feel free to join our Discord community or drop me a message on Patreon and I'll be more than happy to fill you in on the details. For smart money, dumb money confidence, it's showing that the smart money is still neutral while dumb money is leaning slightly a little more bearish. As of now, both smart and dumb money are largely neutral and nobody knows for sure where the market is heading because macroeconomics doesn't look good. However, markets are already pricing in rate cuts due to unemployment rates going up. For next week outlook, on Tuesday we have CPI coming up again which is expected to rise from 0.1 to 0.3%. If inflation remains sticky and well above the 2% rate, Feds will have no choice but to further hike. On Wednesday we have PPI and also retail sales. Thursday we have jobless claims and Friday we have building permits. So the most volatile days will most likely be Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Hopping over to the technical charts, we're on the VIX. So the VIX have been consolidating on this level around the 14.69. Okay, there is um, some support around here as you can see previously. All right, we have been consolidating around these levels for multiple times. 
Okay, and right now we are again above this order block here. Okay, so if this level holds, then the VIX will move up. Okay, the MACD and the RSI. Okay, the RSI has shown oversold levels around here. Currently, it is pushing upwards. Of course, it can actually go up, come back down for bullish divergence before we hit higher. Okay, on the MACD, it's also turning up. TSI still on a pretty strong downtrend. Okay, there's no um, rolling up signs yet. So as of now, as I said, we could actually go up, come down for bullish divergence before heading even higher. Now, on the weekly chart, it's more interesting on the VIX. Because on the weekly chart, we actually already cleared the overbought sign on the weekly chart. But another thing is that indicators are actually turning slightly more bullish on the longer term trend of the weekly chart VIX. Okay, on the shorter term trend, it is bearish. Okay, the MACD is down. Okay, technically it's still bearish, but the TSI is still bullish. Okay, the TSI has rolled over, but it's still bullish. Okay, it's still above the middle line. So it can actually bounce right back up since the RSI has already cleared the overbought sign. Okay, on the longer term trend indicator, it is showing that VIX is actually turning bullish on the long term trend. So we shall see, okay, if VIX actually hits lower towards the 1206 or even the 962. But if it does not and it bounces off here, we should see a very bullish weekly VIX together with the money VIX. As I've been talking about the money VIX, it has been bullish, okay, since uh, mid of the year so far. It has been turning bullish. And true enough, um, after, right after July, okay, we started to see VIX on an upward trend. Uh, hopping over to the S&P 500 SPY ETF. Okay, so the SPY ETF on Thursday actually flashed, um, oh, actually on Wednesday, right? It flashed an overbought sign. Okay, so you can see the red marks over here. So that was overbought and Thursday it did a drop. Okay, it did not really clear off the overbought sign and Friday it did an unexpected pump. Okay, honestly, uh, it was unexpected to me as well. I did not see a pump coming. In fact, I was waiting for a follow through to come, which will break the bottom here, the lows here on Thursday. That will be a follow through, but it did not break the lows. Instead, it went higher. Okay, so this is a real bear trap. Okay, and we also have currently a potential bearish divergence, a regular bearish divergence on the momentum indicator. As you can see, we have a higher high here, but we have a potential lower high. So if next week we actually do pull back and the momentum indicators actually pulls down, then we will have a confirmed bearish divergence on the daily chart. Okay, on the RSI, overbought. Okay, on the volume indicator, it is still technically, okay, um, bullish because you can see there's still more buying volume here, okay, which, is, which is why it's still green. Okay, but you can tell that the volume, the buying volume is actually decreasing while the price is increasing. So this is actually a sign that the rally is coming towards an end. Okay, by the time it turns red, it will be too late because when it turns red, this is when, okay, what happens when it turns red? Okay, you get big bullish, uh, big bearish red bars down. That is why the volume indicator turns red because there is more selling volume. Okay, and significantly more. That's why the volume delta turns red. As of now, there's still more buying volume, but it is significantly decreasing, as you can see, okay, on the way up. Why? Because bulls are getting less bullish, okay, on the way up. Just like how we were, we bought the dip here, right at the lows, in fact. Okay, and as we go up, we took profit here, we took profit here, we took profit here. It's normal because when you buy the lows, you sell at the highs. You do not buy at the highs and hope you can sell higher. Okay, this is how we trade. Okay, on the MACD, you can see that the momentum is rolling over. Okay, has not crossed over to bearish yet, but it is in the midst of rolling over. Okay, so there is a possibility if next week we actually do a huge pullback. Okay, it will turn out pretty ugly for the SPY. Right, but for some... um. Updates okay. The option flows for spy for next week, OPEX week is very bullish. Technically, it's very bullish. So, if you do see a drop on the spy next week, I reckon it will be a buy the dip chance opportunity. Okay, if you see a dip towards the 430, 
okay all the 425 this will be a buy the dip opportunity because end of the week charm will actually push spx higher the only thing that will change this thing the change the option flow and the unhedging effects will be um cpi and ppi okay if um cpi comes out unexpectedly hot then we could actually get a drop which will not recover all right because the the hedging effects of the vana okay vana will not allow um market makers to unhedge they are short positions which means um pushing the index higher okay, currently market makers are supporting the index due to charm and vana all right as we approach opex Opening to the nasdaq 100 triple q etf so the triple q similar to the spy okay um had an overbought sign here on wednesday which is when i warned the guys that thursday will likely be a red day so now we had a red day okay we were also looking for a follow through on friday which did not happen in fact the triple q was so much stronger it did not even come close to testing the lows of thursday in fact the moment the market opened it only went one way up okay so on um triple q you can see that the momentum is also rolling over okay but slightly slower than the spy okay tsi is still up which means that this uptrend still has juice to go okay even if there is a pullback okay likely it will be a buy the dip opportunity all right um as of now the volume delta there is a significant bearish divergence okay comparing from here to here we have a very huge bearish divergence already confirmed why because we have a peak and then a trough and then a lower peak now and it will likely be a lower trough so we have a bearish divergence here and a bearish divergence here so it's a, a double bearish divergence okay um as of now i'm still not bullish over here okay like i said we bought the dips here we bought the dips here right now as it goes up we are taking profits on the way up okay we buy low and we sell high we do not buy high and sell higher so as it goes higher we will just take our profits off our long positions and just sit tight okay and wait for the dips to come again or even if it goes to an extreme level we will even initiate a short back down okay simple as that okay as of now it is turning um bearish because of the bearish divergences that we see okay it is already on overbought momentums are already starting to roll over not yet um dropping yet not yet cross bearish okay so we will have to see the next week okay um as it goes down how heavy is the selling volume if the selling volume is high then we have to take caution on the dip on the dip buying okay we gotta have tight stop losses when we buy the dip okay if the selling is weak then it will we will actually be able to see that there will be a second leg up back towards the 380 382 level after the dip is over okay but all this is based on um all this has to be done by the opex week okay because right now market makers are supporting the index um for opex week because of the uh, charm and vana flows okay once opex is over all these charm and vana flows actually decay then the market makers will not by default support the market okay so you gotta understand that currently flows here are bullish okay because of opex week opex is very put heavy because why um at the top here everyone was buying puts even at the lows here people were buying puts okay and that's why when as we were approaching opex during the mid october coming to the uh, late october period i told the guys that we are about to have a very put heavy opex and that's why it will be a bullish opex okay which means if it drops you just gotta buy the dip because it's gonna head up okay and true enough it's turning out as we say okay but after this friday after this coming friday after opex okay flows will uh reset because all the opex flows for october will reset oh sorry for november will reset and then market makers will not be supporting the markets by default which means we can drop right after opex so if you want to buy the dip 
for the next leg higher you got to make sure that the dip okay when it comes it has to recover before friday if it doesn't then holding past friday will be very very very, very dangerous i want to thank you guys for tuning in until the end of the video your support truly means the world to us if you found the information in this video valuable and want to help us grow you can help take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel it is a small gesture that will make a big difference in helping us reach more people and create even better content now you can also join our patreon for those who are active traders or investors you know just how crucial it is to stay updated in real time especially in these volatile markets by becoming a member of our patreon community you enjoy exclusive benefits including access to our private discord community now this community provides daily live market updates which can be a game changer during fast moving market conditions plus we've got additional algorithmic trading that reaps profits for us automatically you can join our patreon for as little as 20 dollars per month and the benefits are invaluable i'm committed to making your investment journey smoother and your support allows me to do just that as always trade safe invest wise and i'll see you guys in the next one